Hey everyone, massive July 4th sale, 20% off the entire site until July 10th. With episode 9 on its way, what a lot of people didn't know is that Colin Trevorrow was supposed to be the writer and director of episode 9, not J.J. Abrams. So at Galaxy's Edge, we actually see a TIE fighter that wasn't designed by J.J., so it's left to wonder if we're actually going to see this in the film or not. The TIE Echelon is something we've never seen before. It has the classic TIE fighter look, but it also looks like a transport ship with the big ramp. So where is this ship from? Galaxy's Edge is canon and is meant to be a slice of time between 8 and 9, so everyone has been assuming that we'll see the TIE Echelon in episode 9 but we've just learned that we may never actually see it in one of the movies, but we also may. Since the park's design and construction began years ago, they wanted to be sure that they built it with episode 9 in mind. However, at that time, Colin Trevorrow, the director of Jurassic World, was the writer and director of episode 9, not J.J. Abrams. So Colin helped the park's Imagineers design Kylo Ren's new fighter so that they could build it to include in Galaxy's Edge, all with the intention to use it in his version of 9. So what's happening with it now? Well, Collider reached out to Mr. Trevorrow and asked him about it. So here's what he said and all about how the ship came to be. It was just a natural part of the process, Trevorrow said. The Imagineering team asked us to develop a new ship for the park while we were designing episode 9. I took it pretty seriously. It's not every day you get to be a part of something like that. They let me see what they were working on, so I got to see what Galaxy's Edge was going to be. I think what they've created is incredible. It's such an immersive experience. Collider then asked, when you were coming up with the ship, was it part of a sequence you had been working on? Or was it, I'll come up with a ship and then we can find a way to fit it into the movie? It was part of an upgraded First Order fleet, an armed troop transport, the equivalent of a Black Hawk stealth helicopter. We wanted it to evoke memories of earlier ships while still being its own thing. If you look at the elements, it's kind of a hybrid of designs from 7 and 8, with some familiar elements from original trilogy TIE fighters, like Vader's Advanced One. There's a lot of history in it. Collider then asked the question we all wanted to hear. If it was part of a sequence you had already been thinking about, can you share what it would have been? Trevorrow said, I'm pretty sure you know the answer to that, but I respect the question. Honestly, I'm just proud to have been a part of it. I love that ship, put my ashes in it. So while it remains to be seen if the TIE Echelon will show up in J.J. Abrams Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, it's cool to know something from Trevorrow's version of Episode 9 was actually built in real life. I'm guessing we probably won't see it since we've already seen a new TIE fighter in the first trailer, but Colin did say it was meant to to be a transport and we've seen both of those in 7 and 8, so it's still possible 9 will have it. I think it'd be cool if it were a delivery transport for Death Troopers or even the Knights of Ren, but since Galaxy's Edge is canon, I have no doubt that Lucasfilm will find a place to put it in there. So if it doesn't show up in 9, I bet we'll see it in a comic or game or, you know, maybe something. The biggest thing I'd like to find out though is to learn more about Colin's version of Episode 9. Understandably, Lucasfilm hasn't said much about it and neither has he, but we know that he was let go for creative differences. We all know that when Carrie Fisher unexpectedly passed away, that Colin completely rewrote the story because Leia was such a central character. We also know that Colin had Ryan Johnson shoot a scene for episode 9, although we have no idea what that scene was or even if it's still a part of JJ's version. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what JJ has in store, which I think and I hope will be pretty cool. So what do you guys think of Colin's tie echelon? Do you want to hear about Colin's version or are some things better left a mystery? Let me know all these in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you, always.